So I want to say this morning, be thankful for everything. But the text says, in everything, give thanks. So I want us to be able to say, Lord, I thank you for my, my bad days. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the, the rough times. Thank you for the disappointment times. Because what I'm learning is that after something bad happens, at least you can turn around and say, that's not going to happen tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Because it's in the past now. And I can thank God that I was able to make it past that. Amen. 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 I want you to learn to give yourself a reason to give God thanks. Because every, anything can happen in a moment's notice. I can't stop some of the bad things from happening. You can't stop some of those bad things from happening. But in everything, I want us to learn to give thanks. Philippians 4. Uh, many of us quote this scripture and we, get, we just quote verse 13. But I want you to read the verses before verse 13 this morning. Philippians 4 verse 11 says, Not that I speak in regard to me, for I have learned. See, the Apostle Paul has learned some things. As great as he was, he's still learning things. Right. I'm going to tell you, as a pastor, I'm still learning some things. Amen? Amen. And God has given us a new year to learn some more things. Amen? Amen? But he says here that I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. See, I want to learn contentment today. We always want this and want that and want some more, want more and want more. But what have you done with what you already have? Have you thanked God for what you have? If you haven't thanked Him for what you have, maybe God is that the reason why God hasn't given you some more. I just want to say thank you this morning, amen? I want us to be grateful for what we do have and use that to the fullest. Because when you get to the end, God will say, you know what? If you're that good with that much, I'll give you some more. Amen. 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 I have learned in whatever state I'm in to be content. Yes. I know how to be a base. That means that I know how to do without some stuff. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I know how to abound. That means that I have more than enough. Yes. Everywhere and in all things, I have learned both to be full and to be humble. Both to abound and to suffer need. Now I want to say it. I can do all things <laughs> through Christ yes, who gives me strength. I want you to be able to say this morning in everything give thanks. Now I'm not, I'm not fool enough to know that there's not going to be some hard times. First day I had some hard times last year. Amen. But thank God we made it through. Amen. I know some of you have had some hard times last year. And if I had some, if I had to give you a moment, you would take the moment and tell everything that happened. Or just enough for us to know what you went through. And one of the things my wife and I, we do sometimes is that we say, you know, uh, get, let, let's have some three thing moments. We talk about three things that happen in our day. And we just can't talk about it. We got to say how it made us feel. Amen. So I want you to know that this morning that God knows how, not only what you went through, but how you felt about it. And see, what I love about God is he let you have your feelings. Amen. Whatever your feelings are. You can tell the Lord about it. Amen. Lord, that made me angry. Lord, that hurt my feelings. Lord, that broke my spirit. But through all of that, I'm going to be like David. Through it all, I'm still going to say thank you, Lord. I have learned in all of these things to be content. And I've learned to still say thank you. Now, you, might be, you may not be where I am today, but you can still learn. You can be willing to say, Lord, I'm willing to, to learn how to do that. I may not can do it today. But if you teach me how to thank you, I'll learn to thank you. I just want to say thank you. The second thing I want to say this morning is thankful for God's will. Amen. <laughs> thankful for God's will. Verse uh, 18 again in uh, 1 Thessalonians. Let's us see if we can be thankful for God's will. For it says, for this is the will of God. See, I want you to know that everything happens for a reason. Amen? Amen. And sometimes we don't like the reasons. Sometimes we don't know the reasons. Amen? As a pastor, some people look at me and say, well, why did they happen to me, pastor? You're the pastor. You should know. Well, I'm going to tell you, I don't know everything. But I know that this is the will of God. Whatever you're going through right now is God's will for your life. And one of the things I love about God, he gave you a mouth. Amen? And with that mouth, 
you ought to lift up praises unto him. With that mouth, you ought to use it to help somebody with it, amen? Because when you tell your story, how God brought you through, and it was his will, you don't know why it was his will, but you know that it was his will, you were literally helping somebody make it through God's will for their life. I can't tell you how many times in my low moments that when the old saints walk up to me and say, Brother Darius, I've been through that too. And all of a sudden you realize that I wasn't by myself. I mean, the devil was lying to me when he said I was the only one that had that much trouble. Help me, Holy Ghost. I want you to know that what you're going through and what you're going through is the will of God. Don't always despise it and step on it and spit on it, but realize and begin to say, you know what? I'm going to allow this to be what my dad said, uh, First Lady, a confidence building spirit. See, what you're going through, God wants to use it to help somebody. See, God doesn't want to always come down and tell the story himself. He wants you and I to be a witness for him. To tell the world about how good he is. We said the Lord is good, right? He's good. He's good all the time, amen? And I want you to know that when you're going through those difficult moments, begin to write down somewhere, but, but the Lord will put me through it. By his power, he brought me through it. In spite of it all, God brought me through it. Because many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord has a way of bringing us through them all. I want you to see this moment and be thankful for God's will. Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. Verse 9 says, In this manner, therefore, pray, our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Owner and in heaven. See, I want you to begin to say today, Lord, not my will. Not my will, Lord. Not what I want all the time, but your will be done. Because when God's will is done, you will be amazed at what God can do. What God can do with a broken vessel like you and me. All of us have had those broken moments where we didn't know how we are going to make it. But this year, all of us can say, 2019 is in the past. It didn't stop me from coming over until now, amen? Because God's will of life. I'll get a make it through. Amen? I just want to say thank you. The third thing and the last thing I want to say this morning is being thankful for being in Christ. Thankful for being in Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18 he closes this way by saying this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So I want to say this morning, do you know Jesus Christ? Because when you're in Jesus Christ, everything is going to work out for your good. No matter what it is, no matter how bad it might feel, if you are in Christ, it's going to work out for your good. And that's how you can be thankful, amen? That when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, that means that he's on your side, and you're on his side, and you're on the winning team. The old saints can sing a song, I'm on the winning side with Jesus. Though I may be afraid, my soul can boldly say, I'm on the winning side with Jesus. So this morning, I want to ask you, is Jesus Christ in your life today? As you face 2020, are you facing it by yourself? With your weight training, your exercising, your good eating, amen, somebody? Or have you faced in 2020 with Jesus on yourself? Because the word that you know that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Look at 1 John chapter 5 as we close out this morning. 1 John 5 and verse 4 says, For whatever is born of God <laughs> overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. That's the good news of the gospel this morning. After all the bad news that we've heard this past week about how now we, have to, we may have to be in a war, we might be in trouble, the stock market might be in trouble, but, but I want you to know this morning that if you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we will overcome the world. See, weapons might fail. Planes might crash. Tanks might not stop. But I'm going to tell you this morning that God is the one inside of us who is more than the whole world against us. So when your, if your friends don't
don't join you. If your, if your family members don't join you, make sure you're with Jesus. Amen. That you face 2020 with Jesus inside. Amen. Because with Jesus on our side, we will overcome the world. I pray you've been encouraged this morning as we stand together. I just want to say thank you.
with our curves? How you brought us through dangers and many trials, many valleys, many mountains, oh God, you have brought us through. And we say thank you in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you and learn to thank you in everything. Even the not so good things, oh God. Even the horrible things that may seem to happen in our lives. Help us to know, oh God, that you are working things out for our good. Help us, oh Father, be thankful for your will, that your will be done on earth and in heaven. Today we want to most of all be grateful for being in Christ Jesus. To be a part of the family of God. And I pray today that if that anyone here is lost but doesn't know you in the part of their sin, that they will repent today and accept you as their Lord and Savior. I pray, Lord, I thank you for being God. For sending your son Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask you to come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins and make me a new person. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I have been giving my life for you. And I pray today that they will believe you with all their and live your life for you in Jesus' name. Now, Father, bless us to do your will in 2020. That we'll be ever more focused and ever more intentional about serving you and doing things your way. That one day when we're standing before you, we'll you say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over these few things. Now make you will over many things. Enter into the door of the Lord. We'll have your way. Give you all the glory, all the honor, and the praise. We have all these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen.